right, it's that time once again for another Red Grass offense, September the 1st, 2024. Looks like we only have four healers and two tanks in this one. Alliance, what do they have? 15 healers and two tanks? Holy smokes, man. Yeah, Blizzard doesn't even try to get matchmaking right. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Let's see if we can get any kind of HKs here. We should have a lot more damage. Problem is, though, with this many healers, will anything die? Because <laughs> you can literally have healers spamming healers and then pretty much hit anybody that we got a lot of damage going on to. We're trying to take down a DK. 14 people attacking. We did get them down. So we are able to get some HKs. They did get two of them on us, though, as well. We don't want them to rank up. They are capping the flag still. It looks like they are going to get it. We got to get some more HKs and push them off this flag. Get in here. Get on top of it. Ah, uh, they're capping it. They've gotten more HKs than we have. They got more people on the flag. Oh, no, we're pulling it back. They got some people that are falling back. One of their healers is running away. Watch out for them ice walls. Yeah, they may not have enough damage to kill anything as far as big team fights like this. Hopefully, we're good. We're getting some more of them down, and we're pushing them off this flag. This should be pretty good for us here. You know what they say. You win this team fight. 90% of the time, you are going to win the match in the first team fight here in Windergrass. With some of their DPS down, now we got to start dropping some of these heals. And we get this flag fully kept. They will not respawn here anymore. They will start spawning either at their camp or at their base, right? Not 100% sure because their camp is on this side. And they might be technically closer to that graveyard. Getting them pushed off the flag, though, is our next goal here. We are ranking up. Hopefully rank 2 is going to be eminent as well. They will be able to have a lot of people that are, will defend the front gate though. Because more than likely we are going to hit that south gate. South gate seems to be the go-to whenever you have any kind of conflict here. Or how our team fight at the sunken ring. You want to go to the south gate. That way they can't build right on top of you and just pop out of the base. And destroy all your stuff on the east side of their base. Let's get these cannons down. Sometimes you've got to use your vehicle and stay underneath there. That way the cannons can't actually do any damage to you and you can do damage to them. They have sent a team over to BT because it's already blue. So we lost four build slots out of that. That's not good news. We do have catapults over there on the east side though trying to block any of them that are rushing over here. Some of them are trying to land on top of the walls up there. They got a cannon that's up. They're shooting rockets at us. Looks like mostly healers are here out front though. Obviously the healers are going to be harder to take out. But they will not do a ton of damage unless they got rockets or vehicles. Uh, most of our vehicles are dropping one by one, though. We're taking them out what we can. Getting their DPS down. A couple more healers. Just rip them down if you can. We got catapults up here shooting up. And fire going through the wall. South gate's destroyed. We are in one wall. Let's go into the next courtyard. We lost East Spark. That's going to make us go down another four vehicle slots. That's not good. We're definitely going to have to start sending some teams to back cap. Obviously, they probably have rank 1 or 2 by now as well. And we'll be starting to push some pressure on the towers down south. Each tower that gets dropped takes off another 8 minutes off the clock. At the top of the screen, you can always see the amount of time remaining. And if you use capping, it does show how much all the towers are at for us percentage-wise. They haven't touched anything yet. But obviously that's going to change for sure because they will definitely start sending a team down south there, especially when they start capping like that east spark there. That would be prime real estate for them to start building and taking out the east tower and maybe even south tower at the same time. Most of our vehicles are down in here. We got a catapult. We're going to start fighting them through the doorway. We're going to have to send people to recap these workshops though. We need those build slots. Offense is one side that must have vehicles. Defense, you don't really need vehicles. It's just a little icing on the cake, so to speak. We got Sky Shark out here in the open. Going to go down. Most of their healers are sticking around the base. Yep. They have a lot that are still inside that inner courtyard. We got a big push going to BT right now, but we have nobody going to East Spark. I don't like that. And we just lost West Spark, too. Wow. That puts us down to four vehicle slots. <laughs> this is no good. We have way too many people in the base. They're trying to go over there and do some damage at the sunken ring. I'm heading over here to BT to start building. We got more build slots here. Protect demos. Don't go alone. We're going to try and put some pressure on the other side of the base now. Since they had so many that were in that courtyard. 
we're going to see if we can draw them over here while we got other people that are going to try and back cap the workshops down south east tower is going down west tower is going down a little bit too yeah they're doing some work down south putting that work in east tower is already at 50 percent we don't have anybody that's anywhere close it's going to be hard to save that one i'm trying to hide up underneath this cannon right now they're going to hop out obviously because they can't do any damage to me when i'm underneath there like that now we got a heel that's rushing in try to hit the corner here where you can take out the wall and the cannon tower at once but obviously my vehicle got destroyed they got their demo over here he's going to turn around i should be able to take it out 1v1 though jump down like this and they can't ram you <laughs> they can't hit you with the boulder either obviously he knows he's got to run he's got nothing left to do i'm going to rush back in here and see if i can finish this one we got a big push that's going to go through the south gate soon we got a, another big team that is trying to take east spark we already lost the east tower so our team down there is going to have to wipe the ones down there they did some damage to south tower it looks like it's starting to go down a little bit here and west tower has gotten down eight percent i'm still running around kiting the demo <laughs> gliding around it's about dead sometimes you just leave the vehicles with low hp like that that way it's a lot easier for anybody to deal with and most time a lot of people will just drop out of the vehicle and leave it there and let it explode too because it's pretty much dead we got a few people that are pushing into the courtyard once again we got what on the wall yeah the wall's not even showing up on capping yet so that's not good we didn't do hardly any damage to the northwest wall they've taken out the south tower that's another eight minutes off the clock we only have one tower left over there at west tower hopefully we got enough people at west spark that can finish wiping the ones that were at south tower we have a siege here that's taken down the inner south wall 77 percent they got a few more that are coming into the courtyard chasing them down their healers are going to run through i don't know if the healer is going to be able to take out the siege engine but that mage up top is obviously hitting them with some arcano spheres yeah that hits pretty good plus it hits through walls why do we have so many sieges coming in <laughs> the siege engine is probably the least vehicle you want to have in your courtyard here like this at least with the demolishers you can sit back and attack the gates from afar and still do pretty good damage the siege engine obviously could attack the gate from far too but that would require having four people in them whereas like the demo you're only putting in one person inside the vehicle and you can do all the operations for the attacks so you're not really you know putting all your eggs into one basket so to speak we're trying to clear out this courtyard though man they got a lot rushing in here west tower is at 55 percent they might get it down jeez we need to recap that west spark though inner south wall is barely going down 67 percent kill the demos kill them <laughs> demo shoot from far till we get more in the cart yard yeah that's what you need to be doing like this demo here there's no need to rush right into there on top of where they're aoe in just stay back get some damage in from far once we get more build slots and we can back it up with a lot more vehicles then we can push it in cheese what are you doing up there <laughs> cheese is going all in man now he's turned around <laughs> we got another demo that's way back there in the back that's a good spot i like that one over there keep them spread out that way they can't get aoe down either you know they always want to just put them all together and put that aoe on them you know you can web pool vehicles now too so watch out for that as well the west tower is at six and a half percent oh man it might go down then we're gonna lose another eight minutes if we lose that eight minutes we will only have seven minutes to finish this wall and get onto the main entrance plus they'll have their entire team defending again that's not good for us oh west tower 1.8 percent is it gonna save looks like we may have saved it oh man they can pretty much spit on that tower and it is history more than likely they probably will try build some vehicle and then run down the center of the map or even go straight to bt and go south we will find out though hold that tower keeps those minutes on the clock for us now we're starting to clear them out of the courtyard we just got to get a big massive push now we have 12 out of 16 vehicles built a lot of them are sitting back there in the back perfect they are doing damage to the inner south wall now it's at 33 percent get it down once that wall goes down and we can start filling up the main courtyard that's going to put a lot of panic into them and it's going to cause them to to screw up for sure 
Look at that, man. Those vehicles just putting that damage on that inner south wall. 22%. One demo pretty much does what? 1% almost? No, it looks like half a percent. Obviously, the other walls besides the main entrance have double the HP. I'm pretty sure the main entrance has 94,000 HP. And, you know, the boulder hits for 1,000. The ram hits for 1,500. So that pretty much tells you about... How many hits you're going to need. We got through one wall now. Now we got to clear this courtyard out. Get them all stacked up right here. Use all those demos here. Get that splash damage on them because they are all grouped together pretty good. Take them out, man. They have a lot of healers that are right here. Clear out the courtyard. That is our next main thing. I'm hopping in the gunner here. Let's go. Get some guns. Oh, <laughs> the sea just destroys players, man. I mean, if you get them all grouped up like this, I mean... Look at the numbers that go off whenever you hit them. I mean, it's just insane the amount of damage it does. Hey, the siege is down. But we got them all stacked up here right by the gate, too. When they're by that gate, you can always have people hitting from far. It will hit the gate and players at the same time as well. Perfect, man. You couldn't really ask for anything better there. Trying to take out some of these healers. Main entrance is already at 54%. Uh, West Tower is still up, too, so we are good to go. Even if they got it down now, we still roughly have, what... Four and about five minutes left. Yeah, I think we got this. This is all she wrote now. We have just enough vehicles in here. They're not taking them out. We got more coming too. There's a siege in the back, 3%. Main entrance is down. Get in there, click that orb, and let's get out of here, man. Looks like the Paladin had the top killing blows, man. Top damage was the same Paladin, Boomy, and it looks like I got third for our team, man. 241 million, four killing blows, and zero deaths. Not bad, I will take it. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.